Hello YouTube, this is our Trolls, and in today's show, we'll be showing you how to make the splash effect in Adobe Photoshop CS5. So first of all, open up Adobe Photoshop, open up a picture that you want to create the effect on, and uh, once you get that, um, duplicate this layer, right click, duplicate layer. Okay, uh, now while the second layer is selected, go to Image Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and uh, decrease the saturation to minus 100. And uh, there's two ways to do this. There's one way where you can uh, you can go with the Quick Selection tool and select which object you want to um, colorize and in Adobe Photoshop CS5 you get the option <coughs> of auto enhance so it helps you out but I prefer not to do that because uh, it's sometimes hard to work with selection tools but anyways I'm going to show you so once you get your object selected uh, you take the eraser tool and make sure that it's big enough and that it's a hard edge so just delete like so and if you zoom in uh, we get these edges that are caught by uh, by selection tool so we don't want that um, so let's go back and I will show you another way how to do this and this is very simple you take the eraser tool and you just erase and you have to eye it but still uh, I just think it gives more um, more professional look because you can uh, you can see which edges uh, to colorize and it's really smooth so your brush size should be around 200 and it should help you if you're doing something like a round object okay so just keep erasing around the edge and I like this option because uh, you can really choose which how much you want to erase and things like that okay and so yeah we're done pretty much and as you can see if we zoom out it looks really smooth some parts like you can barely see this but there there's a little bit of gray but you can trim that if you zoom in and you raise those edges okay so I think this looks really good you can see the droplets are still black and white so you can decrease the size of the brush and you can work on the droplets but that's only if you want the droplets to be black and white okay but I don't want them to be in color because then it just looks weird it doesn't look like a droplet maybe I picked a bad picture but whatever okay so it looks pretty good uh, that's pretty much it for today's stroll thanks for watching guys I hope you like it please thumbs up and please subscribe and see you next time